Hello YouTube, my name is Paul, I hope you're keeping well. I'm back today then with my FM Towns Marty Games Collection. Um, not a big collection, for obvious reasons, because the games are flipping expensive and really difficult to get hold of. Um, <clears throat> the first time I ever saw an FM Towns computer was in an Ace magazine. I think it was like an article back in 1989, maybe 1990. What was amazing about that system was the first time I ever saw an integrated CD-ROM drive in one. Um, so I'd love to have had one, but clearly they're only released in Japan, and it also cost about $6,000, so 14-year-old, 15-year-old me was never ever going to get one. But I, I kind of forgot all about them, to be honest, until I um, found eBay, and then by some stroke of luck I come across an FM Towns Marty, which I didn't realise was even released, to be honest. It was the world's first 32-bit console. It came out a good six months before the CD32. Completely different architecture to it as well. It's more, I think the, the processor is an, an AMD 386. It's so an Intel clone of some description. So yeah, it was completely different to the CD32. But I went for a Marty because um, the games are more familiar to me. So there's games on the system like Chase HQ, Turbo Outrun, Monkey Island, that I played before. And I would love to have played them on the Marty because they're superior. They absolutely are. Fantastic conversions of some of my favourite games of all time. So I could have gone for Neo Geo AES. Um, but they're flipping expensive. But I have no kind of, I don't know, no nostalgia for any of the games. I mean, I'd love to play them, like uh, Metal Slug and games like that, which I've never played before. But a good friend of mine had one. But like I said, I never really had any connection to it. Whereas the Marty, at least I could relate to the games in the collection. So that's why I went for it. Uh, games are very difficult to come by. Most games here in the UK are listed as buy it nows, which are usually well and truly inflated uh, compared to the price they should go at auction. And probably most of my games have come via auction, some of them buy it nows. Um, but you're probably better off going direct to Japan via Yahoo auctions and buying them that way. Even with import tax, you probably would save an absolute fortune. So, what I'll do, I'll do the usual. I'll talk about the, the actual console itself and I want to show you the games I've got. See you in a bit. Well, welcome to the FM Towns Marty console. Um, obviously a consoleized version of the FM Towns computer. Uh, it has about 2 meg of RAM. So some games aren't compatible because they have, well, do require more RAM on the actual computer themselves. So you can't play games like Super Street Fighter Turbo. Which I've had, I bought before for this system, and then I realised it didn't flipping work. Um, it runs on an AMD 386 processor. So whereas the CD32 is a Motorola 68000, the architecture of this machine is completely different. Obviously, it's a top loader. Got your open button there for the uh, CD-ROM drive. Not much down the front there. Just a reset button, power light, and a CD-ROM light. Um, joypad is quite flimsy to be honest, it's a 9 pin joypad, but I've never tried anything other than this joypad in this machine. Obviously using a step down converter for it, because it runs off a Japanese power source. So nothing on the site to show you there. I sold my original Marty, which was a Mark II, which was dark grey with a yellow button I think it was, and bought myself a boxed um, version of this one. The front you got a mic jack, you got a... Um, Headphone jack, I think, and a control, volume control by the looks of it. But yeah, and on this side then you've got a floppy disk drive. Bearing in mind the FM Towns computer was floppy drive based as well as having a CD-ROM. You've got a jack there or socket there for a keyboard. And some kind of expansion port there underneath the uh, floppy disk drive. So yeah, lovely piece of kit. I do really like this console and it's really well made. Uh, obviously using a step down converter and composite cable for the TV. Currently running one of my favourite platformers of all time, the New Zealand Story, which when you when you play it is pretty much arcade perfect. I don't think I could do much of holding the camera as well as moving the little kiwi around. Um, but yeah, no, it's pretty much arcade perfect to be honest. So yeah, really chuffed to have it. One of my favourite consoles in the collection. Like I said, I got it boxed. Not sure what they go for these days. It's got to be at least 400 quid now. Especially complete with instruction manuals and in a packaging. That's the Marty. I'd definitely recommend getting one. But they're so flipping hard to get hold of these days. But some of the conversions are absolutely fantastic. Right. 
Right then, so over to the important stuff, which is the games. Um, some games come just in jewel cases. Um, some games, games come in some flipping humongous boxes. So you've already seen New Zealand Story, which is pretty much an arcade perfect conversion of one of my favourite games. Uh, also from Taito, or Taito, is Final Blow. Again, just comes in a jewel case. But I am after Operation Wolf, which also comes just like this. It doesn't cost that much, surprisingly. It's about 40 quid. just doesn't come up very often. Uh, Rocket Ranger will be familiar to those of us who had the Atari ST and the Amiga back in the day. Or indeed a PC. So it's a really good conversion. Um, game that needs no introduction, SimCity. There is an editor of, for the FM Towns as well, but really difficult to get hold of. This would probably fetch you back about 30 quid. The cheapest game I got on the system is A Train, or Take the A Train as it's known in Japan, part 4. In the UK, I think we had A Train 3. It's just called A Train here, wasn't it? Again, I haven't really played this one because I haven't got a mouse. But it looks quite interesting. Probably the largest box, actually, of all the FM Towns games I've got. Um, Sometimes on the side it tells you how much uh, RAM you need to play the game. So don't forget the FM Towns Marty only has 2 meg. Uh, right, I've got some Psygnosis games. As you know, I like to collect my Psygnosis gear. First up is a classic, ar uh, classic arcade, a classic Amiga title. That's Shadow of the Beast. Like I said before, the appeal for these games is the fact they are like enhanced versions of some fantastic games. So it's just incredible to see them running on these systems, and there you can see there, the 2 meg. Um, so yeah, you see 4 meg on it, the chances are it's not going to run on your Marty. I had a game like that called, uh, I think, the Super Street Fighter Turbo. Um, awesome. Another Psygnosis game. Another very good game, actually. Looks fantastic on the Marty. It looked fantastic on the Amiga, didn't it? Now, this one I didn't realise was an FM, t FM Towns... Um, was released initially on the FM Towns before being ported over to like the CD32 and the Mega CD, and that's uh, Microcosm on rail shooter. Looks just as good on the FM Towns as it does on CD32. Again, not an expensive game either. Probably 20, 25 quid. A lot of these Psygnosis games aren't overly expensive. I think the most expensive one I've seen is Shadow of the Beast 2, which I've never seen go for auction. But I think the sellers out there wanting a good four, five, six hundred quid for it, which is flipping outrageous. A game that I think was initially going to get an Amiga release, uh, might be wrong, a Scavenger 4. Very similar in vain to uh, Microcosm. There's another Psygnosis game I've seen called Morph. I'm quite interested in getting that. Again, quite overinflated on eBay. There's a couple of copies up there now. Um, Infestations, another Psygnosis title. Quite a recent one I got actually. Not a bad conversion on the FM Towns. Right. Now this game's probably cost less money on the Towns than it does on the bloody Amiga, to be honest. And that's Prince of Persia. Which is fantastic. I think it's set me back about 60 quid, maybe. Um, right, next up. I'll find them. Ah, another Amiga Classic. Flashback. You can kind of see the appeal now, why I bloody bought this system, can't you? But yeah. <clears throat> Very good conversion. This was probably the best home conversion I've played ever of this particular game, and that's Turbo Outrun. Absolutely fantastic graphics. Not a jerky pixel in sight. But yeah, really good, really good. You don't get too much in these boxes, like I said, just the instruction manual and the CD-ROM. And most of the time, the CD-ROMs don't even have any covers. These have a rear cover, but never have a front cover. Be a lovely game. Uh, next up is one of my favourite arcade games of all time, converted onto the towns. That's uh, Chase HQ. Got some oddities in there. The road splits are really funny, but graphically, and it's, graphically it's very good. It's very fast. And very, very close to the arcade. 
Unfortunately, like most games with a yellow, green or red spine, they tend to fade a little. So I would like to upgrade this one. And like some old consoles, like the Mega Drive and all, they actually got the uh, number, game number on the side as well. I'm not sure if that's just Volume 7 because it's a Ving game or it's Volume 7 because it's a Marty game. I'm not really sure. But anyway, another game which I've not played before. It's called Azure. Bit of one of those like pseudo 3D games or pseudo 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 3D games. Um, it's not bad. Bit of a mech. It was a bit of a mech game. I never really played it to be honest. No. Good shoot 'em up on the towns. There's image fight. There's loads and loads of shooters on the FM towns. I'd love to get myself um, flying shark. I really would. Fantastic game that is. Um, is it Truxton? Can't pronounce the Japanese name of it, but Truxton. I'm pretty sure it's Truxton too, actually. On the towns, um, there's oh, there's more. There's more that I can't think of at the minute. I was talking about this this particular game in my last video about how many copies I've got on, on different systems, I, and I realised when I said I got four copies of it, I've actually got about six six of this game on different systems, and that's Rainbow Islands. So I forgot I've got it on this. I've also got it on the uh, Sega Saturn. Lovely conversion of a fantastic arcade game. You see what I mean about that Ving there, the volume and all. I think it might just be Ving games that have them. All right, next up is almost perfect arcade conversion, and that's Splatterhouse. This plays flawlessly, to be honest. An absolutely fantastic conversion of that game. Can be quite pricey, but it's not that rare. But just hold its value. Uh, another game I can't pronounce. I can pronounce the tiger part of it. That's a shoot 'em up. A lot of these really good conversions actually came from Ving, to be honest. But yeah, kind of a flying shark type of game. Really good. Got two left to show you. Next up is Viewpoint. Not a really good shooter. And a really faithful conversion. I'm sure, it's a Neo Geo game, I think. But last but not least, is one of my favourite point and click adventure games of all time Secret of Monkey Island. Absolutely fantastic game. The, sec the sequel is out on the FM Towns as well, but it will fetch or cost you a fortune. Um, yeah, there's a few games I like to get on it, but again, it's one of those ad hoc systems I just buy as and when. Very rarely do games come up as auctions, which I prefer the auctions because you've got a fair crack at the whip. Loads of FM Towns games for sale on eBay, but usually on buy it now prices, which are usually about two times as much as the games are actually worth. Uh, I'd love to get myself Zap McCracken, I'd love to get myself um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, The Fate of Atlantis. It's amazing how many games come out in this system that you'll be familiar with. So thank you for watching my FM Towns collection video, and thank you very much for subscribing, and I'll see you again real soon. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.